Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're hungry today because today we're gonna go eat lunch at H Mart. Not the frozen food section, but the hot food section. So last time we went to the one on the east coast, but today we're going on H Mart on the west coast and they have a bigger hot food section and they're even food stalls. One day we'll find an H Mart with a food court. Actually, do you guys know of an H Mart with a food court? Let me know because it's a date. <laughs> Before we eat today, this video is sponsored by AG1. My friends are actually obsessed with it and they keep recommending it. So I'm excited to try this for myself. AG1 is a nutritional drink made up of 75 high quality whole food source ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and aptogens. I remembered all of that on the top of my head. Basically, AG1 replaces so many health products and it's an all-in-one nutrition drink. Just take a scoop and eight to 10 ounces of cold water, drink it on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. Benefits I'm personally excited to see from taking AG1 is improved digestion, a better gut health, and since I work out very frequently now, I know. Oh <laughs> yeah six pack soon. AG1 is packed with minerals that aid in recovery by balancing stress and supporting sleep. This personally tastes like watered down pineapple juice to me. Like I don't mind it. I feel like the benefits outweighs the taste. If you would like to give AG1 a try as well, go to athleticgreens.com slash cup of TJ to get started on your order. Because y'all are my lovely viewers, AG1 is giving you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. And now, we can start the day. La, la, ya, la, ya, la, ya, la, la, la. la, ya, la, ya, la, ya, la, ya. Ooh, I've never seen this before at H Mart, but they actually have like tempura here. And this one too, they have fried calamari. Look how gigantic this calamari is. 10 fried dumplings, only $4. They also have a bunch of pancakes. We tried this at the last H Mart. So I think I'm gonna pick some stuff over here and then we'll try them. Starting off with some appetizers. Ooh, look at these shrimp shoe mai. So I heat them up a bit. I think you can tell things there are pretty fresh because on the boxes, it'll say like discard after four hours. It even says the pack date and the pack time right on there. Shrimp shoe mai, they look gigantic. I love shrimp shoe mai. And I also pour some soy sauce here. So like, oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Here we go. Little pieces of shrimp in there, almost like a shrimp paste. Overall, it tastes very, very mushy. However, I don't think it's bad. Like, I think it's supposed to taste this way. I do appreciate how big they are because usually these shrimp shumais are so, so tiny. So they made like a bigger, more satisfying version of them. I can't tell if I'm just hungry, but they taste pretty good to me. Some people might not like them because it's quite a mushy texture. Hmm. Cornstarch, sugar, shrimp, vinegar and soy sauce. Six pieces for $5. Looking at the prices, I'm like, I think everything is much cheaper here on the West Coast. Yeah. Seaweed rolls. Okay, so usually uh, I would air fry this and make it crispy and delicious, but I am so lazy. <laughs> One of the H Mart haul that we did, we actually tried frozen seaweed roll in a pack and we air fried those and those were so good. So I'm wondering if these will taste like them. Obviously it's, kind of floppy and I'm too lazy to re reheat them. I'm just gonna eat it. I'm gonna say something and it might, it might be controversial. I like cold food. I know that sounds really weird. Like if my chicken nuggets gets cold or like the fries are cold, I like it. Yeah. What are you gonna say about that, huh? You wanna fight me? You cannot because I will not engage in a fight. I will definitely lose. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Now here we go. I should have heated up. <laughs> you know what? It's not bad. Like little noodles in there. It's like little japchae noodles. Honestly, so flavorful. It's giving me the good vibes cold chicken nuggets give me. Yeah. If you do air fry these and they're like, they get crispy on the outside and you bite into it and it's soft and with the little threads of noodles. Oh, that would be so good. I actually just like it without heating it up because I am a menace. What was it, six pieces for like $2, two, $3? Yeah, this is a great appetizer. Yummy. Behind me, you see there are like three food stalls. So I think we're gonna order some stuff from over there. And then we're also gonna check out some of the foods. There's like this area over there with, I think, some marinated meats and stuff. And this stall over here, there's savory food. There's like fried chicken and there's also <gasps> taiyaki. They have these skewers 
They look so good. Can I get this chicken and rice cake skewer? Rice yes, cake? check it out guys. They have these chicken boxes to go. Skewers are done. Look how good that looks. Piping hot, freshly made as well. That's gorgeous. Wow, what? This looks insane. Look at how big these chicken pieces are. Oh my gosh. Chicken skewer with rice cake and a bunch of sauce drizzled all over it. Mmm, so heavy and honestly, it's huge. Like what? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> This is so good. So the rice cake, it's like slightly crispy on the outside. So when you bite into it, it's got a nice little crunch. And then the soft rice cake, thick and chewy. This is an item I would actually like, whenever I'm at H Mart, I would probably want to order this. Mmm, look at how juicy that is. What? That Korean fried chicken I just had, one of the best Korean fried chicken I've had. Like the sauce, just a little bit spicy, but really it's a sweet, delicious gochujang sauce. That is very addicting. Almost has like a little bit of honey in there. Very, very good. And the way they crisped up the rice cake with the juicy, gigantic chicken, and it is lip smacking. So the H Mart I went to, it's the one in K-Town. So if you guys ever go there and you see the stall, like pick up a chicken skewer is so good. And you know, I'm not usually a very um, saucy Korean fried chicken type of person, but that, chef's kiss. They have a gimbap stall right here. Okay, I hope you guys can see this, but they have ramen here and like cold noodles here too. And they also have combo meals, by the way. Some of them are already prepared here for you to take. Oh my gosh, there are so many. So I'm gonna pick one and we're gonna try it. So they also have teboki here. They also have some rice balls over here. Oh, y'all, look how cute this is. This is a little cat there. Fun story why I chose Spam and Cheese. Growing up, I had a Korean friend and her mom packs her lunch and sometimes she would have Spam and Cheese Skimbap. And those were like my favorite things in the world. It's just Spam and American cheese, but it was so good. And whenever she had it and she gave me a piece, it was just the best lunch day ever. I'm hoping this will taste really nostalgic. I know it's so simple, but simple things like that, it just Brings back memories. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. Uh, you can see the cheese like popping out. I love that. Uh, that bite was all right. <laughs> I feel like the spam is so tiny in here. You know what? It's not as satisfying as I thought, and it doesn't really bring back any memories. <laughs> oh, there's the spam taste. There we go. It didn't taste like my friend's uh, mom's spam and cheese kimbap. I don't think I'll go back for that item again. It's a lot of rice. Obviously, it's a rice bulb. And there was just like a little bit of spam in there and it kind of felt like it was like a shriveled up spam. But I, I get that it's just supposed to be on-to-go snack, so not much to say about it. Bagobi. Bagobi. <laughs> Bagogi gimbap. As somebody who has made gimbap before, if you can just buy it for cheap, just buy it for cheap because you have to like individually stir fry and prep each item and it's so much work. If you got time, do it, but if not, just buy it. <laughs> mm. It's not bad, but it's not the best bulgogi gimbap I've ever had, but it is very, very cheap. The meat is a little bit dry and for some reason the vegetables don't feel as crunchy as they should. Okay, it got better. It's not bad. It's not the best bulgogi kimbap I've ever had, but it's not bad. Pretty solid filling to rice ratio. But you know, if you're gonna go to K-Town, a really good kimbap place that I can recommend is called Kimbap Paradise. Their kimbap is delicious, and they have this shrimp tempura one. Oh, but this is not bad. It's very convenient. And today we're eating at H-Mart, so ha 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 ha. Oh my gosh, guys, it is so stocked right now. I mean, look at that. I'm starting over here, and it looks like there's a couple of bentos. So this is japchae with egg. This is like a bulgogi bento box and it's gigantic. It's so big and it's only $10. Oh, and it has a bunch of side dishes. There's also this fried rice with a slice of spam and egg. Yum. They also have doboki with fried dumpling and there's another one over there with Korean sausage as the side. Guys, sometimes I say things like, oh my God, this is so affordable or it's so cheap because I'm comparing it to New York prices. <laughs> so in that sense, it may just be a standard pricing, okay? Just, <laughs> oh, my, my neighbor is here to help me eat all this food. Okay, so, okay we're gonna get some fish cake and some rice cakes together. I just heat it all up. Mmm, 
Oh. Oh my god, it's so spicy. Oh, that is so spicy. What the? Fire noodle spicy? We should have said spicy on top. <laughs> and the sauce is really, really good. It's really sweet. Mmm. Oh, the rice cake is really good. It's really soft. It's really good rice cake. You take a bite and it's nice and sweet. And then that spiciness, it just starts creeping up on your down your throat. And it's like, you know, it's like that kind of spice. <laughs> you guys are like, what kind of spice is that? Anyways, it's actually really, really good. I'm going to try the dumplings. They're gigantic. Mmm. Wow, this beef dumpling is fire. My buttons are shaking, so it's like a little salt shaker. Hey, margarita. Yo, these dumplings are amazing, you guys. I feel like you should pop them into the air fryer a little more. But inside, so it's actually beef dumplings, which I usually don't like, but this one, delicious. There's like little noodles in there. It's savory, the outer layer is crispy. You don't even need sauce with it. It's so flavorful. This is actually a very solid meal. I'm gonna feed some to Annie, who's sitting right over there now. <laughs> They sell 10 of these dumplings there for like five, six dollars. I was telling them I really like my food cold. Oh. <laughs> and I think that tastes like pretty good. I do too. You do too, mm -hmm. right? Cold food game. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Giant mackerel right here. Yum. Oh my gosh. These look so good. Oh my gosh, there's so much food. I'm overwhelmed. Look at this. It's all stocked. Oh, they even have mapo tofu. More tofu. This looks so good. It's like a fried tofu marinated in some sauce, I think. Over here in the corner, there's more bento boxes and bowls. Look at that. $7.75. And over here, we have sweet yam. We have corn. We have rice. Yeah, also they have um, salad here, assorted chicken salad. Like, well, I've never, this is so fun, $6.49. <laughs> and this is pretty standard. They have pork belly with sauce here. Um, they also have a whole side dishes section. Over here in the side dishes section, they also have like porridge, soup, seaweed soup, soft tofu. This is soybean soup, beef and radish soup. They're so many soups here. Also, oh my goodness, guys, they actually have soy marinated crabs here. Look at that. Oh my, this just came out. Wait, this looks kind of good. So it's like a char siu pork bento box and there's noodles on the side. Okay, we have to try this one. Look at this bento box. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my, I feel like I'm at the train station or something and they're like, Here's your bento box, miss. Ah, wow. <laughs> I am easily impressed. Wow, this bento box was in $9. And the crazy thing is I actually saw them preparing it fresh. So this is pretty amazing. I didn't expect to find something so beautiful at HMAR like this. And it comes with so many things. It comes with chicken, noodles. It comes with seaweed salad. Here's some uh, ginger pieces and also chashu. Ooh, it looks good. Mmm, mmm. It's like this super sweet honey, maybe like corn syrupy, um, soy sauce sauce. <laughs> I'm getting loopy now because I've, e I've eaten too many things. The pork belly is super tender and the sauce is delicious. Very lip smacking. Mmm, nice little ginger kick. Mm. Try some of this noodles. Not bad. Better than the Panda Express chow mein because they like changed the formula on that now. It tastes all like healthy now. You guys know what I mean? <laughs> okay, we're gonna bite into this chicken right here. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. I taste very like battery, almost powdery. Yeah, not a fan of the chicken, but everything else is pretty solid. This chashu pork is pretty good. Oh yeah, you guys can kind of see how much batter is on that. And when you bite into it, it tastes super like almost like powdery inside. The chicken is not the best, but the pork belly, very, very delicious. I also love the little like crisp on the outside. It's like a nice glaze. Oh, so much flavor. For $9, this is pretty solid. I also saw they had another option. They had a whole piece of yield on it. Mm. Oh my Lord, y'all. 
this is so schmancy. This is $10 only? Wait, am I seeing this wrong? Wait, look at this sushi platter. This is insane. This is only $60. I have a smaller one. For, oh my gosh, thank God. They have a smaller one for $40. That looks so good. But there's actually poke here. So I think we're gonna have to get some. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, there's all kinds. Tuna, salmon. Oh my gosh. What should I choose? I just realized they're fresh making the bentos right here in the center station. That's awesome. Basically, they weigh it over here and then they tell you the price. So this came out to $7. Y'all ever seen Pokey at H Mart, huh? It's my first time. You guys, what? I actually got the rice bento so that I can eat this with some of the rice in there. So here we go. I mean, honestly, it looks pretty solid and it smells really good. Ooh. Oh, let me eat it with some rice. Oh my God, it's so spicy. They put like a bunch of um, red pepper in there. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite with the rice before I give you my verdict. Not bad. Would I go back for it again? Probably not. Would I go back to try another flavor because another flavor is better? Maybe. It tastes much, much better with the rice because it really lessens that saltiness. This one is particularly salty. It is the showy one, you know, the soy sauce one, but you know, I've tried other ones before and they aren't that salty. It tastes, I would say 50% fresh. It's surprisingly good for poke found at H Mart. Would I go back for it again? Probably not, okay? Especially if there's other poke places that I can go to, but it's not bad, you know? Like Korean food, there's a lot of seafood, um, so I'm not surprised that they are using like fresh salmon. I feel like the batch I got was just sitting there the very last few scoops. Last time I went, they gave out samples of different flavors and it tasted pretty good to me, but now in like large quantity and eating it for the second time, Oh, that piece was not bad. It's not bad, honestly. <laughs> Poke H Mart, y'all. It's not bad. <laughs> I feel like if you guys are curious, go try it. Um, I'm not gonna tell you to go just to get this, but it's there. And they do give out samples if you ever wanna give it a try. They give you like a little toothpick. Oh. La, la, yeah, la, yeah. La, yeah, la, la, la. La, yeah, la, yeah, la, yeah. Yeah. They are done. I have to film it right now because it's crispy and warm right now. I mean, look how good that look. Cheese and red bean. They're so cute. Okay, so the video is a little filmed a little bit out of order. I just wanted to make sure to eat the taiyaki first while it was still crispy. I just want to say the workers who worked at that stall were so nice. Actually, all three of the food stalls, they were lovely. I love that, so thank you so much. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. This is the red bean one. Oh, look at that. And we're just gonna go ahead and bite into it. They make it fresh right then and there. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> oh, that red bee filling is lovely. I honestly wish I ate it right then and there, like as soon as it came out because it was still warm and crispy. It's slightly crispy, just a little bit, but I imagine it would taste so much better if I was there. I wanna try the cheese one. Mm, I don't really taste the cheese. Oh, I taste it now. Mmm. Well, oh, I really like this cheese one. <laughs> um, that cheese one hit so much. I love like sweet, um, bready goods and inside savory filling. The combo, the sweet and savory combo is just magical. The red bean one was not bad as well. dollars each, you can get fresh taiyaki or they called it um, fish bun over there, which I thought was really cute. <laughs> hey, what, those $2 taiyaki, way better than the ones we bought at the H Mart on the East Coast that was just like in a little little box. And that was, I think that was four, six dollars. I have to watch it again, but so much better. In the middle stall, it's like this little dessert stall and there are smoothies, lemonade coffee, and then there are like these walnut-shaped pastry. You can get gift sets or you can just get a little tiny bag of 10 pieces. Oh, they look so good. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to try one. Can you just get a small bag, 10 pieces? Yes. Oh, thank you. Getting some in a bag. I got about 10 pieces, $8. Ooh, walnut pastry, y'all. Oh, they're so cute. They come individually wrapped. 
and little balls like this. <laughs> the best part is they are shaped like little walnuts. This is so cute. Yeah, yeah, it totally looks like a walnut and not other things. Wow. So apparently this brand, Coco Hudu, Hudu um, is actually a chain from Korea. So I'm, I'm just surprised to find it like <laughs> in H Mart, you know, it's so, it's just funny. These three stalls are just kind of like tucked in the back. Um, whenever I, ask, I tell my friends like, oh, you know, there's like food stalls in H Mart. They're like, huh? What? <laughs> this is the Korean name. Um, they're usually filled with red bean and apparently a piece of walnut. Let's find out. Here we go. Ooh, yummy. Oh wow, they're actually really good. This is definitely better than the taiyaki. Mmm, look at the red bean paste. Okay, all of that together is so delightful. When you bite into it, you're immediately met by the soft cake on the outside and then by the grainy red bean filling, which is not too sweet. And then when you get a crunch of the walnut, it's so satisfying. I feel like it's a wonderful texture combo. I can see why they have little gift boxes with each of these little walnut pastries and, and why you want to gift this to people. It is very delicious. I actually say this is an item that I think if you were in H Mart and you want to give it a try, I would give it a try. It's quite yummy. What a wonderful dessert to end the video. Mm -mm. Mmm, yummy. A walnut inside of a walnut. <sighs> if you guys ever had like egg waffle, like the Hong Kong egg waffles, the outer layer kind of tastes like that for this. And it's just really, really good. Oh, so I'm trying to grab a drink to enjoy with the meal. And tell me, tell me what this is. So it's like a yogurt drink, but it's in the shape of like a baby bottle. <laughs> That's so funny. Ooh, in the drink section, they have these like, sparkling water, but they're grape flavor. Hi, peach. Mmm, passion fruit one. I think I'm gonna try that one. <laughs> A little sparkling water moment to wash it all down. Oh, hell yeah. Cheers, y'all, to a good lunch. Oh my gosh, I'm so full. My stomach is gonna explode. Oh my God, this is so sweet. 24 grams of sugar. <laughs> It's so sweet. It's really good. That's why I knew immediately that I had a ton of sugar. Um, but it tastes really delicious. I could see why this one was like almost sold out. It's really good. <laughs> and there we go. That was lunch at H Mart. I had a lot of fun walking around with you guys in the hot food section and trying some of the food. Obviously, when you go to H Mart, you probably will just get one or two items if you're really eating lunch there. But there's just so many things I wanted to show you guys. I had so much fun filming this. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment below which of the items that we tried today or any of the items that you saw in this video would you like to try. Ooh. And I'll see y'all next time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I need to sit down and digest. Bye! <laughs>